From Loretto Abbey, home to the Sisters of Loretto since 1928, and the Loretto Abbey Secondary School, and with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of this Mass is made possible by a contribution from two donors. The first is Annie Bernard and family from Ottawa for the repose of the soul of Jacob Bernard, who died on January 13, 2007. And the second donor is a parishioner of St. Emerence Parish in Riviere Kibar, Alberta, in memory of her husband and all deceased members of her family, for good health and peace for her children and their families. Our thanks to both our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God be with you. And you were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Grant this through the same Christ, our Lord. A reading from the first book of Samuel. At the temple in Shiloh, the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare on those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The Lamb of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. And he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call. Lie down again. So Samuel went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call, my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord. And the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time. And he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down. And if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling us before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was with him, and let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel, from Daniel to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was a trustworthy prophet of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Yes.
Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. Happy are those who make the Lord their trust, who do not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after false gods. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, here I am. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. Here am I, Lord, I come to Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As soon as Jesus and the disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. So Jesus came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. And Jesus answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also. For that is what I came out to do. And Jesus went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Well, we've moved from the Christmas season to what we call ordinary time in our calendar. Five weeks. And after that, we'll be into Lent and Easter and won't get back to to ordinary time until after Pentecost. I must say, it, uh, it took me many years to realize that in the church's calendar, the longest part of the year is ordinary time. It occupies uh, 34 out of the 52 weeks of the year. It calls us maybe to keep our feet on the ground and not expect every week to be wonderful or every season to be special. We log a lot of ordinary time filled with coping, caring, sometimes with forgetting, other times with remembering. Another day, another week, more of the same. So back to today's gospel. Jesus spent uh, very little time in the synagogues in Galilee or the temple in Jerusalem. He went out to meet people wherever they were, by the lake shore, in the marketplaces, on the hillsides, in their homes, and also at special celebrations. He uh, never seemed to turn down an invitation to a meal. He often ate with what were called the wrong kind of people tax collectors and sinners, Roman centurions and the disabled, down by the lake shore or up the mountain. He was available to whoever turned up. And today we find him uh, maybe inviting himself to dinner at Zacchaeus' house. He lodged with Peter and Peter's wife and their mother-in-law. And that's where we find him today. They told him, the mother-in-law is in bed with a fever. And well, you and I might say, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But he did something more. He took her by the hand. He lifted her up and the fever left her. Her way of saying thanks, well, she began to serve a meal to the five arrivals. Jesus, along with Simon and Andrew, James and John, two sets of brothers. And then news of his presence in the place uh, wasn't long in spreading. At sundown, the physically sick and the mentally disabled were outside, crowding around the door. And he went out to them spent time with them, healed them, ministered to their various needs. Then there was a short night's sleep, and he was up and out the door to a deserted place, a lonely place where he could be by himself and pray. And we're told that Simon Peter and the others hunted for him. I like that phrase. They hunted for him. They tracked him down and asked him uh, what he was doing out there when so many people were back at the house searching for him. And somehow or other, I picture him uh, returning to the house for a while, and then it was up and away to other towns, other villages in the neighborhood. Uh, Mark describes Jesus as energetic, maybe a little bit restless, eager to be on the go. He has promises to keep and miles to go before he sleeps. Ask anyone where you'd find him, and they'd have to say, who knows? He could be anywhere, anywhere and everywhere, wherever he felt he could be of help. Uh, A few years ago, uh, I read this sad story from uh, Patricia Coyle, Irish TV researcher, about her mother. 
My mother is a great woman who had a hard enough life. She buried two children, nursed us through a great deal of serious family illness, spoke of forgiveness and love to those through the worst of the troubles where we lived, and finally tended my father at home until the day he died from lung cancer. And one night after this, she came to me and said she was going to the Holy Land. And I was stunned because she was terrified of flying. But she replied, all my life I had wanted to meet God, and I haven't. So now I've decided that if God won't come to me, I'll go to him, to the land where he once walked. I've often thought about that reply, said her, her daughter Patricia, and the tragedy that in all her life of prayer, sacraments, and mass going, not once had she ever been helped to see how close she was to God and how God was there in the very heart of her pain and also joyful life. That we may sense the presence of God as our traveling companion, we pray to the Lord. Lord For those who walk alone, we pray to the Lord. For the newly arrived refugees in Canada, we pray to the Lord. And for our own special intentions, we pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come and be born in our hearts. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept our offerings, O Lord, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all our bishops. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another the peace of the Lord.
take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer of Cardinal Newman. May he support us all the day long till the shades lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, in his mercy, may he give us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from here in the peace of Christ. Amen. Our thanks to our two donors for the gift of this Mass. At the name of Jesus, Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him, King of glory. Now. Remember, if you can't sponsor a Mass, any contribution, no matter how small, will help keep daily Mass on television. And you'll receive an income tax receipt for your donation. Humble for season to receive a name from the lips of sinners unto whom he came. Faithfully he bore it, spotless to the last, brought it back victorious when from death.